Welcome to another Junos extension toolkit tutorial. In this video, we will understand the different notifications generated by the Juniper device and explore how to subscribe to notifications using a JET application. The Junos kernel and other routing processes and daemons publish notification events to an event broker MQTT. We will write a simple Python client application that will subscribe to these event topics and receive the notifications from the device. You can subscribe to multiple topics. Once you write a JET app, you can run it on box, that is on the Juniper device, or off box on your laptop or some server or in the management cloud. For this demo, we will subscribe to a topic that will send us notifications whenever a logical interface with an IP address 1.1.1.1 is created. We will generate this event by configuring a logical interface with this IP address. Let's begin with the Python JET app. In this application, we have imported JSON and MQTT client libraries. In this app, we create a MQTT connection with the device first. This is the topic string that we will subscribe to. We call the MQTT subscribe with the connection handle, topic, and an event handler callback. This callback function will be executed by this app every time the event notification is received from the device. We will wait for 20 seconds while we generate the event and verify the notification. Then we unsubscribe and close the connection. In the event handler, we will simply print the JSON data received in the notification. Let's switch to the device terminal. We have two terminal sessions open to the same device. On one terminal, we will execute the app and listen to notifications. On the other terminal, we will generate the event. First, let's see the configuration required on the device to enable the JIT notifications. Since we are running the app on box, we have the app configured on the device as well. For notifications, we need to configure a loopback IP address. We can run the app using the operational request command. We have the IP address configuration in place, which we will commit when the app is running. Once the app is running, let's generate the event. This is the event notification, including the JSON data for the event. To get this test JET app, follow the link in the description below. See you in the next tutorial.